Hello, this is One Day from Sapporo and my name is James. I'm currently right next to Akarenga Terrace, which is like a red brick building in the center of Sapporo. And I'm not too far from the Dorcho, which is a government building here in the center of Sapporo. This time, I'm gonna be traveling to Sapporo Beer Garden to enjoy some delicious local food and some lovely beer. Let's go and make our way. And just take a look at this beautiful view. You've got the wonderful snow on the trees. You've got the wonderful lights, which I have to say look very Christmassy, but we're in January at the moment, so that's not right. Look at the way the snow rests on the branches. So we're gonna be getting on a bus. I'm gonna be using my smart card, which is a Sui card, which is a really good card if you come to Japan because you can use it all over the country. You can also use it for the trams here and also for the buses. So we'll be using it to get on the bus today. Uh, as you can see on the floor here, there's no snow. Now you might think, wow, perhaps it hasn't been snowing very much, but actually there's all underground heating in Sapporo. So all of the snow that, that lays melts really quickly, which is perfect for if you're walking around. I don't think I've ever come across underground heating in England, but it really helps when you're walking around the city. In my neighborhood, snow everywhere. One bit of advice if you come to Hokkaido, when you cross over the road, I don't recommend walking on the white lines because for some reason, it's the paint I think it makes it very slippery when it gets ice on it. Okay, we're coming up to Sapporo Clock Tower. Now, this is actually known as one of the three big disappointments uh, for people in Japan. Uh, I think they expect it to be much bigger than it actually is. But to be honest, I really like it. It's got this kind of uh, unusual American design, which you don't see uh, very often in, in Japan. Definitely worth coming and taking a photo of. Right, so now I think it's time for us to go in and enjoy Genghis Khan which is a very popular food here in Hokkaido and also beer which is very popular with me okay let's go wow that is the bell of the Sapporo clock tower what a beautiful sound if you just look below the clock there you can see a couple of red stars. Well, we'll be seeing some more stars very shortly. Now let's get on that bus. The next stop is Sapporo Beer Garden. This is the last stop. Please take your belongings with you when you get off. Well, here we are. Wow. And our destination is that beautiful old red brick building just over there. That is the Sapporo Beer Garden. You can really feel some history here. So let's make our way to the Sapporo Beer Museum. The entrance is just over here. Let's make our way. So this is the entrance. Okay. We have some hand sanitizer here. It's one of the good things about Hokkaido, probably all of Japan, is that most of these places when you enter, you get the hand sanitizer there for we. Okay. Let's go around here. Wow, look at the size of that. That is huge. So a good way to spend your time here before you actually enjoy the delights of Genghis Khan and beer is to come to this museum where you can find out a little bit more information about how beer is made and some of the history of beer making. So there's like this free tour just around here. Oh, the Sapporo beer label history. You see they all have those red stars on there. That's a sign of good beer. Maybe some people are not actually aware that Sapporo is the name of a the city. They probably think it's the name of the beer. 
this is a bit like a torture chamber actually because the more I see these bottles of beer the more I really want to start drinking okay we have to go in this direction wow look at that golden star hi I've reserved under the name of James that's right yes thank you okay I just take this. We are here. Okay. Go out. Uh, next. Next the Kaitakushikan. Yes. Okay. Yes. Second, second floor. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Let's go and have some Genghis Khan. So we have to leave the building first, and then we go next door to Kaitakushikan. There's a sign there. We got to go this way. And I've got my ticket, my lucky ticket. Here's the entrance. This building is the restaurant. Here we go. Oh, the smell hits you. Wow. Suddenly, you got this really strong smell of cooking lamb. Ooh, that's a wonderful smell. <laughs> so if you find you don't have any money, you can just come here, come through the door and just smell this for free. But it's not going to be enough. You need to eat it as well. So we go to the second floor. So we're going to take this. Okay, let's take the stairs, go up here. Right. I guess I'll pass it to this gentleman here. Thank you very much. There we go. Wow. Look at the size of this place. This is where I am. Wow. Look at that. That's shaped like Hokkaido. We're all ready to go and I've got my beer now and I've got my apron on to protect me. Cheers. Let's start. That is a fantastic beer. This is quite normal in, in Japan. Uh, beer normally comes with quite a head. People like to have beer with a very thick head. So you're not getting ripped off. This is the way we drink in Japan. Well, the food has arrived now, so it's time to start cooking. So you get some fat. Put that on the top here and then just cover this hot plate with this fat and you want to start with the vegetables first it's tempting to just put that meat on straight away but believe me start with those vegetables first bean sprouts and cabbage here pumpkin onions now we have two different types of meat here we have the kind of traditional like kind of frozen Genghis Khan and we have some fresh lamb meat as well so in the middle let's place some of this really delicious looking lamb meat look at that oh and that sound it makes what a beautiful sound sizzling away on top of the hot plate there now the juices and oils from this meat is now going to slowly trickle its way down to the outer side of this hot plate but that's going to mix with the vegetables so juicy Genghis Khan sauce has a little sweetness to it and goes really well oh I need to was on that's so juicy I actually miss lamb a lot. I used to eat a lot of lamb in the UK. Um, it's not such a popular thing in, in Japan, but Hokkaido, luckily, uh, you have Genghis Khan, which is a very common dish. Tastes wonderful. Let's take a look at this. This is uh, what's called jaga butter. It's basically uh, potato with butter, but it's a very common dish here in, in Hokkaido, very popular. This is one of the food symbols of Hokkaido. 
The potato. Potatoes in Hokkaido are really delicious. Now this is the frozen variety. You can find this in a lot of the supermarkets around Hokkaido. I often get this and eat it at home with my family. And around the outside there's so much oil now, it's just dripped down to the... Okay, and in the center here, that's done. Okay. Let me just take this one here. Look at that. Same thing again, dipping into the sauce. And it's ready for eating. Here we go. Fantastic. A Zangi, basically fried chicken. The good thing about Zangi is it's boneless, so you don't have to pick any bones out. Here we go. It's crunchy on the outside. Inside, delicious succulent chicken. You really feel the juices around your mouth. That is wonderful. So the beer that I'm drinking now, this is my first beer. This is Sapporo Classic. Now Classic is only available in Hokkaido. So if you travel to Tokyo, you won't be able to find it. Of course, nowhere else in the world. So if you come to Sapporo, you've got to have this Sapporo Classic. You can buy it in all of the convenience stores here. It's one of the most popular beers and it is delicious. Cheers. Fantastic combination. So I'm by myself at the moment, so I'm not wearing a mask, but if you do come here with your friends, then when you're not eating, you should always put your mask on. And then when you, whenever you go for something to eat or drink, then you can just pull your mask down and enjoy. This is the way um, recently that people have been enjoying dining in Hokkaido. So this is five star beer. Now this beer is only available here at Sapporo Beer Garden. And actually it's the first time I've tried it, so I'm looking forward to this one. Cheers. Mm. That's a nice beer, it's very light. Mm, that's good. Well, it's been a fantastic evening here in Sapporo Beer Garden. The food has been delicious. The beer has been delicious. And I think I'm ready to go home and have a nice night's sleep. I really recommend coming here if you come to Sapporo. It's a fantastic place. Enjoy your meal here. <laughs>